It has been another two weeks since I last updated you, and I have not accomplished much. Anyways, here is what it could make last week. And here is what it can make now. So the first thing I added was the interface, since the current one was extremely ugly. I added a way to add keyframes, a way to create and preview themes, a way to change the seed, to save and open the project, and a viewing panel for the keyframes. For values with different choices, I added a button for every single choice so it would be a lot faster to select them. Also, I made it so that the actual panel to add keyframes didn't actually affect any keyframes, it only created 11 values which would be added to the keyframes when you pressed the add button. This made it so that you wouldn't have to remake the settings every time you added a new keyframe. But all of this interface that I added didn't change anything about the fact that the meta events still didn't line up and the melody was terrible. So I spent the next 5 or so days thinking of every single way that the meta events didn't work. I switched it from having every instrument having a meta event, to only the melody having one to adding a separate track with all the meta events. Everything seemed to work in the code, and even on all the online MIDI players, but not MuseScore, the software I was using. Turns out MuseScore's MIDI importing system was glitched, and I wasn't going to spend another hour trying to get it to work. So I made the difficult choice of switching to FL Studio. It was actually a good decision, because you could not only customize the MIDI importing, but everything was actually correct. I could also easily detect bugs now. One of the bugs I detected was that tracks using different amounts of notes in chords didn't import them correctly. So in my chord amounts list, I completely scrapped the one letter representations for the chord amounts and resorted to using a letter that represented every single note. I then made it so that the themes actually affected the music instead of being useless. After I turned off the themes, I realized that all of the timings for the UN themed music was wrong. So I made it so that a rest was added to fill in the space between the last note of the track and the time it should actually end. Also, I made it add a chord amount letter for the rests, instead of just the notes. Next. Everything seemed to be working, so I added symbols to the music, basically, a percentage, based on the symbol multiplier, of the stressed beats had symbols, and the volume was affected by the mood intensity. After fixing all of the countless bugs that came with me doing anything, and realizing that FL Studio's measure counter stops working after 10,000 measures, I finally got the symbol mostly working, so I decided to add more moods. Since currently there was only the suspicious mood, I added the suspense and classical music mood. Of course, everything broke again, so I got to fixing it. I added all of the chord types for the new melody contours, improved the melody presets to system, and made all of the unused mood preset values used. And this broke everything again, so I removed the melody arpeggiation choice. Also, I had to greatly reduce the bass multiplier, because the velocity was going above 127, which meant that the notes wouldn't show up in FL Studio. So much of my code was flawed that I cannot even remember everything I did. But anyways, after I got everything to work, I added even more mood presets. These included the romantic happy, sad happy, hopeless sad, angry sad and action moods. I also added a new melody contour for the first time in like a month, which led me to realize that the previous melody contours were all lossetted by one, so I fixed that. Also, I changed the song length so that it would account for the time changed due to FL Studio rounding its BPMs. When the tracks were not being used, the note rest lengths were also inaccurate, 
so I changed it from using the keyframe length to using the actual song length. There are still many bugs, such as instruments playing melodies without waiting for the proper keyframe, but I could not find a fix. And yeah, that is all I could get done. Though the music it could generate didn't really improve much. That's only because I spent so much time fixing the almost infinite bugs because I am dumb. See you next time and bye.